Welcome to a very special episode of Dwayne's World. We are back with another another season, excuse me. And um, I have a very special guest on today. I have a really good friend, a really great musician, a really great artist, Xavier Maine. Sony, how you feeling? How you doing? Very good, very good. I love. Oh, great. Oh, blessed. I feel so relaxed having you here and just to like, I just want to talk. I feel like we've been getting to hang a couple of, couple of weeks since you've been back. Mm. How's LA treating you? Like, how, how are you digging it? This trip has been really cool. Like we just got off the um, the Europe and UK tour, so yeah, coming back, I feel at the moment I feel like I'm at my my best. I feel comfortable and and like secure. I love that. You know what I mean? It's so important. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just nice to touch base with all like the LA friends again, and like you know reconnect with everyone. So. I feel like I've like you know for half the year I've just been kind of a little bit more disconnected, and spent a lot of time alone, which like I needed, like but back home or back home in Australia, Australia, yeah. Um, but now like you know I'm like I'm naturally like an introverted guy, so like that time by myself was like you know I needed that to like recharge. Gotcha. But now I'm coming into this like phase of like actually gaining energy from social. Yeah, interactions yeah, yeah, you know understand. what i mean where usually i would feel drained 100 percent. um it can be so draining enough yeah <laughs> so i'm like i'm really loving being social at the moment love for sure love man yeah. I'm, i feel like i don't know if i'm sure people know but like i feel like the tour that you guys were on with chase looked insane the vibes were insane the fits mm. the energy i felt i know we talked about it a bit at the house like you were out there without the band you were just on the solo tip yeah you performing how was that like experience different from dude that? this was the it was the first tour where i actually enjoyed like performing alone yeah like because i came you know coming up you know in my music career like i've always played in bands you know what i mean and that's the you know half the reason why i love touring with chase is because they're all my mates so we're still touring to, yeah i'm performing by myself but like we're still touring together because like crazy. there's been tours where when i when i was first starting in this solo project where like you know i'd be flying alone and like i'd be in the green room by myself and then like you know maybe the venue manager or the promoter would come in and chat for a bit then i like but like at the end like i'm just by myself yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a long it's a weird, trip yeah. yeah but this this tour because like i usually in australia when we did the australian tour i had um a couple of my mates who play with me live um so i had a, like a live band with me that was really cool um but this was the first tour where i felt like i enjoyed um like performing the experience of per performing alone i, I guess you yeah. was working that shit too bro i feel like your show is so great but like just seeing the clips and hearing some of what you yeah some man, i think the the you know half of that is you know credit to that is you know due to the punters you know the fans yeah 100% and like i think um you know because we haven't we hadn't hit europe since 2019 like all the fans were like really excited oh to see God. us yeah. it was like, and we they were back. yeah they were amped bro so they really delivered the energy and um it was reciprocated within the show so and on top of that like you know it was the best it was the best crew that we've had. Like, the crew, like, TM, it was the best team that we've had on a, tour, like, on a Chase tour ever. 110% yeah, yeah. well, hands down. You know, uh, shout out to Eric. Yeah, what, what TM. did TM do? Yeah, TM, okay, fire. Uh, legends, very important, like, very important piece to the puzzle. Yeah, man. Um, The whole crew, just positive vibes. Like, yeah, you know, we're, you know, there's banter and shit. Of like, course. you know, we're not like careful about like, you know, speaking positively all the time. But yeah. like, the vibe was positive. I understand. Um, but yeah, banter is a part of our Australian culture. You, you know guys what I mean? have like, taught we me fuck that. Around, like, you have lot. to. Am I allowed to swear? You can't say like, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah sure. you can't. I, I feel like when I first met Mitty, if I said three nice things in a row, he's like, "What's wrong with you, bro?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, like, what is that about? I'm but like, yeah, I just love that's you. what it's I mean. Like, like yeah, when we up, when we fuck around like that, it's like when you say something that may seem offensive it's what what matters is like what the motive you know what i mean like where it's 100%. coming from so but much most, love there <laughs> so much it's love. Just like hey you can say something but it's with with, with love, yeah, with <laughs> love all the way yeah. Bro, i also want to talk about that too i mean the bridge i think that um 
you know, Mitchell and, and Christian and Jesse and Clint, all the boys like Pat, bringing you and I together, I feel like for a while having Mitchell as like the best homie and I would just hear like about Sony and I would hear like about Xavier. Oh, dude. And, you know what It was I mean? the same with me, man. And I just, like, we like, you know, because Mitchell. We hadn't met each other. Yeah. We'd never met each other in person until April last year. Which is. But, we but knew, when I saw you, I was like, this is my best friend yeah, already. Yeah, it's like my I boy. Like, we've you. known each, of each other for a long time. time. We made a song together. Yeah, we made a song together. Um, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> so before good, we bro. even met each other. So good. Um, and obviously, you know. And the same goes to you, like Mitchell, you know, every time he came back to Australia, he would, he would speak about you. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, we were in touch online. We were in touch, And yes. we had maybe spoken on the phone. Yeah, but like, I think we had to. We yeah, never yeah. fucking daffed up and, no. you know, hugged. <laughs> no, and it's like meeting you, I was yeah. like, I, I love you and I, I, I'm really happy, bro. Like even the yeah. past few weeks since you guys have gotten back, just getting to spend time and yeah, go no, racing really and special, fucking man. kick it and drive around, fucking drive on the freeway. Yeah, like maniacs. all the I, boys with the fleet, I, with the radios. Bro, you don't even... I mean, <laughs> it was, Fast and Furious shit. It was such a Yo, moment, Yo, Houston, man. what's up? Like, I should have brought a radio oh with God, me. Bro. Let's just do the whole podcast. We going. Just have to, <laughs> we had, it was really beautiful. We had fucking radios and it was yeah. amazing. And literally, I remember you taking that video of all of us and we was like, man, we couldn't even imagine having... A life like this as like teenagers are dude Even five years, years ago, ago yeah i just man, that was such i imagine like moment. i remember five years ago mitchell and i were just talking about yeah what's happening right what's now. Happening now crazy and you know even like chase records you know what i mean like I want, we you know i want to get we, into that. we spoke <laughs> mitchell and i spoke that into fruition mm -hmm. we spoke about that in 2015 like you know crazy before before Chase even got their first deal, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like this is what we're gonna do when this it's is time. just like, hey, like you know, one day mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna get real big and we're gonna start our own fucking record label, and it's all happening now. It's crazy. Like that was 2015 when we were talking about that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and we only officially created Chase Records in um, 2022, 2022, like beginning of last year. Oh, so, so it's been a year fully now. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I, I think it's going, and I think it's only going to go higher. I can't, and I we can't talk about like label shit too much on my end, but I but like in saying that, like I I want to um, reaffirm that Chase yeah. Records, in our perspective, isn't so much a record company. Of it's course. it's a collective. Collective, you know what yes. I mean? The way, the same way that you see like EXO and like you know Jack Boys and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. it's you know it's a collective insulated within an LLC that is. A record company. You, you know were giving mean? me so much game on LLCs too. We we I think we had like maybe our best hang the other time. Last time I saw you, we were yeah we were night. just and listening to music until listen to like music the sun came up. Sun came up, and then we recorded your verse. Crazy for um uh for, for a your, song. For a song. I've been listening to. Yeah. I was listening on run. You're fucking insane, bro. I was so inspired by what you had played. I was just very inspired. Thanks, man. It was beautiful. I want to say a quick funny thing though. People are going to throw millions of dollars at you guys. Uh, I was told that by someone a few days ago for a Chase record. Yeah. He said, I'm going to spend every dime that I have to not get them to leave anywhere and stay wherever they are. And, and I, I think, I, think I know a, who you're talking yeah. about. So I just think it's beautiful that from 2015 to now. And, does, he, uh, does his name start with an R? Last name, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I know say that really exactly you're but about. he was just like, "Oh, I'm give him every tell tell him I'm so I'm, <laughs> Mister Sir, and and to the big homie now I'm saying yeah. that. Uh, I just think it's beautiful, it's just of where yeah. it came from and where it is now. And I also it's wanted cool, to talk man. about the hang another night because you play me music from your whole like kind of you it, that from was my band days that bro. So it was so I want I want to record like two of I Dude, show me stuff any all the of time those songs like, ah, that you want to like sample I like them. I have all the stems backed up and shit like your voice is you ridiculous you can fucking have it like it's all yours I don't give a fuck I never I I, I was like no shame I was like I mm. can I record can I do this <laughs> Oh yeah they were so any good. like even if you like the instrumentals yeah. or whatever man you, if good. you want to just sample shit out of it like it's all yours man like, You see I'm bringing just, it back around yeah, you bring it back around, bring it back to life. It was so good. Bro. It didn't, it didn't get the uh, the moment it needed, but understand. You know, maybe you can make something out. Maybe of it. we can make something out of it. I thought it was phenomenal. With a little bit of, we played a little bit. You played some Elvis. That was brilliant. So I, I went back home the next day, and my my yeah. like Apple was just like all of shit that you were showing me. Yeah. I was like, thank God for this. Cause so just... my my grandpa was like, 
He loved Elvis, bro. He loved Elvis. He so my grandpa, um, Nick. Mm-hmm. He was his, his last past, name. His, what was his last name? Sando. He's uh. So where where my dad comes from, when you become a man, mm-hmm. you like you choose your your own last name. Oh, I fucking why don't we do that? I don't That's know. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm so like say, I love that. Though. Yeah. So I my really dad's do. last name is different to my grandpa's last name, but like all of my dad's high school stuff is under my under Sando, which is my your, your um, my grandpa's yeah, yeah. last name. Yeah. But um, yeah, my grandpa was um. A huge Elvis fan, yeah. and he, my grandpa, was the one that told me how to write my first song. Mm. I think I was telling you. You like, were telling me about yeah. it, yeah. So like, I learned. Damn, you so I like I've my mom sent me to like piano classes, mm-hmm. and um, I was like, "Fuck, this sucks!" Like it's sh- like my my teach my teacher was just like really strict and shit, yeah. and like like I was learning all the scales and stuff, and like doing recitals and stuff, but like. But then this this show called Drake and Josh came past, and I was I like, I man, <laughs> I want to be fucking Drake. I want to be a fucking rock star. I want to play the guitar. Yeah, have mad cool collar shirts on. Yeah, yeah, he he was like the he was the so it was like Drake was like the cool brother, and then he had a stepbrother called Josh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and Josh was the nerdy one, but yeah. Drake was the cool one and got Drake all the cool. girls. Hundred percent. Was it on Nickelodeon? Or was Nickelodeon. It Disney? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm tapping. And on um. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's based in San Diego. I remember the show. I'm like, I yeah. think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, so that was like that transition into like wanting to play guitar, and I was like, Mom, like I want to play guitar, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and then she's just like, Yeah, just do whatever you want. Do like, it, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I did like guitar lessons for like three months, mm-hmm. and then I think YouTube came out, and then I was like, it was yeah, it's over. game over. Yeah, like, 100%. I just, I don't even need a t-shirt. Like, I owe my fucking life to YouTube, by the way. Oh, I went to university. So many of us do. I went to so uni and did a fucking degree, and I still owe my life to YouTube. Crazy. I've learned more on YouTube than mm-hmm. I did at fucking university. You can I'll learn you anything there. I think it's, I, I think, I, I mean, people our age and, like, younger, I feel like, no, but it's so important. Like, we kind of do all our lives. Even in just an inspirational point of, like, I want to listen to whatever the hell, our interview, our movie, our old video of one of our favorite artists talking. And yeah, bro, so like it's crazy. literally <laughs> how I became a fan of like all the bands like that I was listening to growing up. I like understand. you know, whether that was like content of them just doing vlogs or you know music videos. Um, you know, it's it's more than just the music. Yeah, you know what I mean. Of like course, I, you know, I. The music is like eighty percent of it. Yeah, yeah. And I then, agree. you know, I what mean, it's yeah, but it's not the whole it thing. Out. It's not the whole thing. Like I fell in love with bands. Like you know, that was a band that I fell in love with just because of their vlogs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I fell in love with their music after that. After that fact. Crazy. Um, Crazy. Which so, t- kind of re- not reverse, but totally happens today. I mean, the way that kids find music now is just it changes every day. Well, it's on TikTok now. Yeah, it's on TikTok. Well, and then yeah, you see them. I hate that it is, but it's but that's it the is. fact. Yeah, it's, that's it's, the it's truth. A, I also I want to get into as well, bro. Like I think you're so fucking tapped in and so talented. I feel like hearing the demo and then hearing old songs that you've done and what are you like? Where you feel musically right now that you feel inspired by to just like keep pushing like your sound and your voice. I think, I, just t- I, think I think right now touched, I'm more so focused on experiencing life because mm-hmm. it makes writing so much easier. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Like the other night, Krauss and I had a session like two nights ago maybe, and I just had shit to get off my chest. And I fucking love that. You know what I mean? And like, That's and, the best feeling. And we made a banger in an hour. Crazy. You know the songs that come really quick? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's because it's because it's real. Because it's real, yeah. Easy. You had things to say, mm-hmm. and I think right now <laughs> it's like I'm uh, my whole aura or my perspective is just to experience life, yeah, and like be present and like just whether that's you know the good things that happen or bad things that happen, mm-hmm. like you know just experience it. Just experience it. And it makes writing so much easier. I really, I really agree with you all the way. I think. I've been listening. Maybe it's my third time listening to the book, but the Rick Rubin, the Creative Act. Uh, the, he just I haven't, I haven't read it. It's yeah. brilliant, bro. And it's just like talks about being present and artists that we love and that he loves, 
or the best artists talked about what was actually going on in their life, which I think you're doing and what you're talking about experience and stuff. But I also, mm. I love being with you and hanging out with, and the boys too, but like, I feel like you're so present every time. And that's something I really try to do when I'm with my like homies that I love and, and care for. Like, and you, I want people to be on their phones and do what they want, but I feel like you're yeah, touched in a way to where like, you're always just there. Yeah. That, well, I've yeah, exactly. in the past two weeks. Like, I just think that's fire. You know, yeah, I think I I make a conscious decision to try yeah. my, like try and be present. You have to make a conscious decision to yeah to try and it's be tr- present. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Right. It is, it is like decision, you have yeah. to kind of sometimes if you're with a bunch of people or you know you're with if I'm having one on one conversation, mm-hmm. you know I'm not looking at my phone. Yeah, 100%. like I do look at my notifications just in case there's something important. But like mm-hmm. I've turned off all my social notifications. Oh, yeah, Only yeah, thing yeah. is that I have yeah, on yeah, a, like my my iMessage and like. Um, my emails. Yeah, understand. Um, because sometimes like, uh, replying to something quickly is like some form of like respect. Yes, I do agree <laughs> with you. I agree with you. Yeah, it, I feel like it changes from from person to person, and I feel like from mood to mood sometimes. Yeah, but yeah I, I feel you. But about. like during business hours, you know what I mean? It's, like, yeah, yeah. It's still fucking you know <laughs> oh, three it's o'clock. Early. Yeah. But like, early. if it's the weekend, like you know, my phone's face down. Yeah. But if it's like you know at night time or at a dinner, like my phone is face. Yeah, yeah 100%. like right now because it's like still three. Like yeah, my phone is flipped up. Yeah, you gotta make sure you can yeah. you keep doing your <laughs> shit. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's all intentional. Yeah, no, I I love that. I I also want to just like I want to talk too about, and I don't even know if I've got to learn this too, but just like on the family tip, I know they've always been supportive. But what was it like, like my family with family? your mom and your pops? And, yeah, yeah. My how, how was you guys vibe? My f- mom and dad have been very like they're very just free spirited so they're just like just do what you love yeah. like they've never really forced us to me like i have a younger sister his name is asia who you she, showed me she's a actually song an artist day. as well her name uh her artist name is kalila which is Jeez. so we both use our middle names so her middle name's kalila and my middle name xavier yeah um as our names as our as, artist as name. artist name yeah um she's so talented you yeah me this, I, we were uh, She's not like a veteran. Yeah, no, she's um she's super talented. Like she's she's a more talented singer than I am. And I think she's getting better at guitar now because I've stopped like I've just I produce on my computer. <laughs> Which and is I also fucking a <laughs> you know skill. I mean? yes. But I like I gave her I've given her like most of my guitars. I gave her my, my guitar pedals and stuff. Yeah. Like my She has all my she, I, I gave her my amp. Yeah. My fucking she's Fender like, Deluxe. Use this shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh fucking yeah she i've there's maybe two guitars that i've kept mm-hmm. my fucking uh my my fender telly and my uh gibson but i've given her my one of my tellies my acoustic maiden guitar my my full pedal board um the full pedal board yeah you i gave it all her, yeah. yeah the pedal Blaster board was like hey you can use this yeah. it's not yours but the guitars, it's like these are yours. The amp is like you can use this, but it's not yours. I understand. But I understand. it's it's at her house. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. she gigs more than I do. Like crazy. I only like I only go on. I only pl- perform when I go on tour. Yeah, where on she's tour. like, she hasn't even released her first single yet. You know, but she's been playing gigs at like venues and stuff. Like at, in Brisbane. Like venues, venues. Like, like bars. She's just opening. Oh, fire! Like opening oh. for people, and she's got. I think she's opening for a band, like a like a pretty big Australian band at the Tivoli, which is like a pretty iconic venue in Brisbane. So she's a really, yeah, I'm letting her, I'm letting her just like do, because like I, that's the stuff I did growing up. You know what I mean? Like we, I got to the point where I hit a ceiling for my city. You know what I mean? As far as like the gigging goes. Gigging, yeah. yeah. I understand. Um, Same, same. Yeah. Yeah, So like I I played lots of shows, Mm -hmm. like, in my band time. Got you. Yeah, I think that's just like the gigging growing up, it, whatever phase that you start at, like you got to get it in, but to put those hours in to then when you're doing huge shows, you just know how, to, you know what I'm saying? Like I watch you even as a, without a band, with a band, whatever, like you know how to, I feel like that comes from yeah, like the I, time that you put in. This and, tour that we did, the Europe tour, like it was solos. I, I didn't even rehearse. Like yeah. but the first show was the rehearsal. Crazy, <laughs> You're like crazy. when I when I play with a band, obviously, I like I want the band to be tight, so they I'll rehearse as be. many times as I can. Like for that Australian tour, I had not played with them 
like performed with them since 2019 and that was 20 end of 2022 yeah so like i i hired this like rehearsal studio for them to like to practice before mm. i arrived oh perfect and yeah. then we had maybe i think we had three or four days leading up to the first show in melbourne okay and we perf- like we rehearsed every day, every day up yeah. until the show yeah but yeah this tour that we did i was literally just it was just me the ld and the sound guy oh you yeah the lights too the lighting yeah so, so i made it talking about because that. i was by myself i made it like i was like all right let's fucking let's put some money into the ld because like that's important, <laughs> important as well. um and then i got the also got access to the big led screen which was great because i was the uh, direct support yeah of course yeah um, so we are shine. yeah so we put mm-hmm. on a good light show and like the production was great mm-hmm. so i think maybe that was you know why the crowd reciprocated so it was you know obviously it's not just one thing it's the, the whole collective of, of everything but um those shows felt good i mean I and that was the first as i said before it was the first tour where i felt good performing alone I understand because I like I did a whole American tour, uh, solo, mm-hmm. and I loved it. Amazing, by the way, great shows. I love you, America. <laughs> <laughs> um, but internally, I you felt like something you... that was that was something was missing. Understand? Yeah. Understand? Did you did you bring out the nunchucks? Uh, for you? No. So yeah. like I like to <laughs> I like to evolve. Um. So you know, there's there was a in 2019. Um. Like I build, I think I like to build a character for a phase. Hundred percent. So like 100%. in twenty nineteen, it was like that f- the fur jacket and the nun ch- like nunchucks yeah. and all jacket that vibe. Crazy, but I needed jacket to yeah, and I, I held onto that jacket. I, maybe you can have it. I'll give it. You to might you. have mentioned that. I I don't want to bring up no no because the thing no, is what you said, but yeah, it was it's, it's, period. It's just a beautiful. Regardless place. of that, if I don't give it to you, I, it's just gonna go. Maybe frame it and I'll put it on the wall I somewhere. I think that would be it though. With yeah. the nunchucks, like with the nunchucks you know what I mean? in there. Yeah, like honest. Yeah, yeah but like yeah. I after that um, the Australian tour, I was like, I need to evolve. I need yeah. to change the look. And so I I was like. I didn't, when I came back to America before we went to um, the UK and Europe, like I didn't pack it with me. Got you. So it forced me to like try something different. Can I ask, what do you feel like the new vibe is? Or like, where is it going? You know, or even maybe it's mentally or or like with the clothes too, but like, what do you think? Like in terms of the the music or like, like, or even like the look as well. The look? I mean, yeah. I think that's a tough question too. Sorry, the look, like. <laughs> I'm I'm still discovering. I like uh, M- Mitchell's got me on to wearing more baggier pants. Yeah, I mean your shoes to, are crazy, by the way. Are these these yeah. are TNs? No are one crazy. fucking wears these in America. Yeah, by the way, these are crazy. This is a very Western Sydney uh, shoe. Understand. Usually it comes with all like these different colors and shit, but I like the all black. The black is nasty. Uh, shout out to Running Touch for inspiring me to get yes. these. By the way. Um, my homie's on my homie's on tour with them right now too, my drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Terry, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's um he's playing in LA soon, so you should come I'm to the show. Yeah, I'm, so I'm definitely down. gonna yeah, go. If you go, I'll, I'll just roll with you. Yeah. yeah so easy. he his manager used to be my manager. Okay. Um when we first started. Understand. Love her. She was probably uh one of the best managers I've ever had, by the way. Got you. Um but yeah, now I'm with MDDN. Of course, yes. Who we yeah. love. Who we love. Who we love. Benji and Joel. Goats. Miles. Come on, Justin. I, I, I saw Miles the other day, and I just said, "Hey, man, like, you're in your you're in your boss era." Yeah, the beard, the, he stepped up. The yeah. attitude. I, I think Mitchell was trying to help him with his his. He he was sitting up real straight. His posture was crazy. Yeah, I loved it. no, I loved him, man. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's really Miles, professional. Bro. He's, like, he is. Bro. He he came out for the bit bit of the UK stuff. Okay. So like Reading and Leeds, and like you know, he just said straight up, he was like, "Hey, look, like." You know, I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm here to have fun as well. Of course. But you know, I'm also on the job. Like, I'm just here to make sure that you guys make as much money as you can. You better talk about it. And uh, you know, and, and we're gonna say, have fun. Yeah. 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 If we all become friends, great. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know, I'm here as a professional, and I love that. Like uh, yeah, the same. the whole new fresh crew that we have, like yeah. the, with the man, like you know, our day to days mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. our new touring crew, like. 
It's important, bro. Bro, like, I'm so happy. With... You feel good about, like, all the pieces. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tentative coming back into, like, you know, a whole new, you know, fresh crew. And I was I like, fuck, we got to start from, you know, home base again. Yeah. Like, you know, kick that off. But, like, every... I'm really... Pr I'm pretty quick at, like, um, seeing red flags. Yeah. And I can yeah, tell yeah, that yeah. very early. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I let, you know, in the past I've let those red flags slide and 100%. it's fucking you know if i paid for it and mm -hmm. later on yeah yeah where this time it's like yeah we were tentative and like being like fuck you know we've got to start from fucking square one again and get everyone on the same page blah yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, but course. it's like everyone's like it's everything's been green flags man love and um yeah i love the whole the, the new team the whole gang is crazy i love the new team so much i i feel like I feel like every time, like maybe just the last time we were hanging and talking about Chase Records and talking about, by, by the way, I just want to let people know I'm totally in the collective as well. Yeah, uh, this is the official <laughs> announcement. Dwayne Jackson is in the I, Chase collective. And I'm hoping in my 40s that I can somehow, you know, work for the company and, and get my A&R. Even in our 30s, bro. <laughs> like, I, I think we get a bit more settled yeah. in the in the music. I love fucking, I love performing and doing music as well, but I also love the business. You, well. you gave me so much game last time. You was like, oh, you got some, okay, cool, taxes, yes. And I, it was, you don't know how helpful it was for me, you know what I mean? Because I'm stepping in such a, a new time in my life too, as far as like, just feeling comf, you know, mm. feeling a lot of more comf uh, yeah. comfortability and feeling like, yeah, stable. I'm in my mid-20s strong. now, man. Like Same, I've done like yeah. nine fucking tax returns and like, Ooh. you know what I mean? I wish, <laughs> I, I wish I've done that many. Jesus. So like I've learned, like doing like nine years of like being like holding yourself like, accountable. Yeah, you know like, I've mean? done music during that time, but also done other business yes. stuff as well. So like nine years is a long time it's to long learn time. about you yes, know sir. things. Like yeah. how, <laughs> I feel like in my third year, like I kind of felt like uh, I get everything. Yeah, but then you realize that like there's just more hurdles just to more. come. <laughs> but like yeah, being in like my mid twenties now. Yeah. It's still young as fuck. Like, you know, I have conversations with Benji. Like, you know, he's in his 40s. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, he's like, yeah, you're, you know, you're smart. But, mm -hmm. you know, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I still got lots to learn. Of course. You know? he, and I think that's get, the way to Benji be. and Joel give me some fucking good game. I think, well. I think they have like some of the best. When you get them on the phone or you get to talk to them, how we're talking right now, you just get some of the best game. Just to become a better person, even, which... I think evens out the business and the music. Yeah, and like I just I like I love that they are so available to us, mm -hmm. um, and like you know they're like big bros, hundred percent. And like they, all they want is like you know because they've they've made it. Yeah. Oh my god. You know yeah. they're set for life. You set. know what I mean like they want they're not there to fucking you know they're not there to hustle. They're like they're there to make. Just their legacy, 100%. you know what I mean? Yeah. So they're not fucking around. They're not fucking around, and they want all they're doing is like they're not looking at the fucking you know Excel spreadsheets and seeing yeah. how thing how profitable things are going right, to be right. like in the artist realm. Yeah. In regards to MDDN, right? They're looking at like I like this guy. I yeah. think I believe in this guy, mm -hmm. or you know, when like when Benji brought me on board like as part of um, you know the uh the roster for mm -hmm. MDDN, and it was like early last year early or last year. mid last year mm -hmm. you know it was a fucking a privilege like we've been talking to each other since 2018 which uh, makes sense to, like with each other yeah but like i i was already in management mm -hmm. and all that stuff and he was like oh i don't want to like you know of course step on anyone's toes blah 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 but like hey like you know he he got me out of some bad deals I you know what i mean like i, I had that. some like i've had some major label deals that like 360 deals that I came in you. early oh no yeah. And like I was like excited. I'm about glad that. you're talking about that too, because that's so important for people to know. I mean, yeah, you you can get caught up in this. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Benji was sorry. the one that was yeah. like, "Hey, man, like, let's just keep building this. Yeah. Like, we we'll get you a way better deal, like Understand. in five years. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I listened to him, and like, you know, even me saying no to those major labels, they still got me into right for like the fucking artist. Anyway. Understand? Which so they like, you know, I had publishing. Beautiful. Um, so which was which is great. It those writing camps and stuff that I did, like it taught me a lot. Um, as a writer and a producer. Um, just working with pros. Yeah. You know? We need I came pros. in like scared as fuck, being gotcha. like, 
I have not worked with anyone else besides Mitchell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just me, Mitchell, in the fucking bedroom. Like, and then now I'm in this fucking really nice studio writing for an, one of their artists Understand. with his, like, other people. And then I like, got in there and I'm just like, no one else knows what the fuck's going on. It's so, <laughs> it's so true, bro. That's like, I got in there and I was like, no one else no knows what the one... fuck is going on anyway. And they're looking at me, of course, these pros, like... and they're like, what do you think about this, 100%. Dave? And I'm like, why are you asking me? Yeah. I've just, I'm like, like, no, we need your opinion. I haven't even, actually. <laughs> I haven't even earned my fucking, you know, seat at the table yet. Yeah, <laughs> you. But you have, but it, it was good because like, I loved, I love learning. Yeah, you know what I mean, big and same. big sense. Going into those sessions, like being able to see how other people get over, you know, their creative blocks mm -hmm. and how they go around to you know, create, you know, move around creative hurdles Yeah, was one of the biggest um, things that I learned. Got you. Um, and then just like a few technical things like, you know, how how to set up like vocal chains of course. nicely and Which how to EQ have, bro, and all you, that I mean, you, stuff. I feel like, but I, I know you said you had just been in with MIDI. I feel like every time he would come back and you guys would have been like in that room working on shit, you yeah. would play me your new stuff, and I was just blown away every fucking time. Yeah. Bro. Like you got the joint. I didn't know if we can talk about this, but like some of the demos that you you have, like the, I don't know, the like with the deep voice and the, like the oh, kind of yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. just some of your flows and your the way I don't know your tone, bro. Like you, even going back to the shit you showed me from time ago, and then even the new shit. I think your tone is just oh, I think so. phenomenal. You know, in your taste, I think like, I yeah, think I've. Uh, I think I've. I think I've discovered many different like places of where my voice can go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I've been singing like, you know, for a long time and yeah. doing different genres, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like going from like in high school doing like pop punk stuff and going into like folk music. Yeah. Folk rock music. Just some like, of my favorite stuff. Alternative that you've done. rock music yes. and then like alternative rock electronic music yes. and then that turned into like me learning more about production and then mm -hmm. when i met mitchell or well, not when i met mitchell when i started working with mitchell like musically he you know introduced me to the hip-hop world yeah. and then you know travis scott fucking drops um i mean god bless that man it. what's that what was that album was it with goosebumps oh uh, uh, uh um was it i think the one before that one Oh no, no no! I think you're right. Yeah, Birds and Trap. Yeah, yeah. when he yeah. when he dropped that like in 2015 or 2016, I Way fully back. converted. Great. Yeah, I that album. From, is yeah, I went from listening to hip hop a little bit. Yeah. To like, really like my my dad listened to hip hop. Like it was you know like always. It was there. It was always yeah, there. Yeah. Um. So like you know like N.W.A. Mm -hmm. Like Biggie. Mm -hmm. Like all yes. the guys. Yeah. The greats. Nah, I was like. Mm -hmm. All the Amazing. 90s guys. Amazing. That was always playing. Um, really nice. I remember having, like, a one night, like, maybe Dad was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just me My and favorites. him listening to music. And we were listening to MWA on these, like, bean bags. And I was probably, like, I don't know, t nine or something. Crazy. And he was just, like, just listen to these, like, listen to these songs. Yeah, listen to these songs. Like, like, listen to these I songs. think that's one of the most beautiful traits that dads have. Even yeah. if they're there or not, I mean, there's so many times. I, my dad, even though he he wasn't, he's so great now. But growing up, he was just still become you know learning how to be a man. But the mm. music that he showed me as a kid, sitting me up on the couch or sitting me up on the fucking dishwasher or whatever, he was like, "You have to listen to this." You yeah. know, I still remember hearing early Nas and first two Nas albums. Like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, lyrics. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bars. Like, okay, cool, cool. I can do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's so I'm, vital for us. What? So like my my brain is a lot more like melody yes inclined like it's Mitchell love. Mitchell's been the one that's kind of pushed me to become better at like lyrical mm -hmm. listening and lyrical writing so like every time we're listening to music is like listen to this yeah listen to what he's saying look at the lyrics look, listen to these double entendres yeah. listen to like these hypotheticals mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. what I mean like he made he's made me think a little bit more like deeply about lyrics yeah. and like wordplay. Mm -hmm. Where my brain is like just by default more melodic. So that's Which why I, love, I leaned personally. more towards like Biggie than Tupac. Understand. Because Tupac was more lyrically inclined, where like Biggie was like 
flow. He knew how to write a great pop song. Yeah. He really did. I mean, the hooks, I mean, they had it, they had it figured out. Yeah. So, yeah, like by, just by natural inclination, like I was leaning, I lean more towards Biggie. Understand. Damn, now when I leave, I'm going to have to listen to Biggie. Yeah. Because the homies always tell me, but sometimes that Pac feeling, you know, especially when you feeling like a little angry. Yeah. Me against the world type shit and Pac, but like Biggie is so, you know, he was very touched clearly. It was tapped yeah. in. Yeah. Biggie was more about the vibe yeah. where, like, Tupac had shit to say. Yeah, shit you know what I mean? Say. Like, every time. Yeah, every <laughs> like time. He every just had time. shit to say. He was, whatever, <laughs> whatever was gone through his head, like, he just had shit to say. Yeah, which was, say. yeah. It was brilliant. And that's, like, coming back to, like, you know, experiencing life and, like, being present and mm-hmm. stuff, like, it makes writing a lot easier. 100%. And that's why I love what you said earlier, too, about, you know, I, I I love being able to write something that you're feeling and that is actually real and that's just going through. That and, death oh, you're so man. good. You're so good. Murder the uh, thirst. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but yeah, man, I, I, I love that shit so much, bro. I think that's just the, you know, just growing up and I love that even you know, I mean, sometimes I feel ignorant in a way of like, oh, like they were listening to that shit in Australia, but it's like, yeah, good music travels. You know, we want our shit to travel and like that makes sense that your pops was putting you on to to that shit, I just think it's cool. Yeah, because yeah, like when, because he grew up in in Sydney, um, and in and at Bond in Bondi at the time, and in Bondi during the eighties was mm-hmm. like just full of like, you know, like like fobs, like very like like fobs. Bl- what do you mean? Like, fobs are like fresh off the boat. So oh, it's like okay, okay. Yeah, so it's just like um, like kiwis, like Maoris, gotcha. and like. Um, you know, very black influence. Love influence. It. So Love it's it. like very hip hop. He was a b boy, so like he yeah, fucking break danced and shit. So, on, bro. y'all got the dancing down though. We just gotta keep it, keep it yeah. honest with that. You yeah, know, y'all be moving. You be, you be teaching me dance move every time I see you, and you, I be off rhythm even sometimes. <laughs> and I'm supposed to. No, nah, you shit. picked up, you picked up on those, uh, that little thing that we did really quickly. Uh, every, tried. like every time I try and teach people, like it takes a minute, but you, me. you picked it up real quick, man. We're gonna have to do it after we finish. It's gotta we gotta keep adding to it. Though. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You, you added like two more things. I was like, Yeah, so every right. time we add something new, I but love it. We'll do it collaboratively. So maybe you make up the next one. There's gonna be a lot of hips involved if I make yeah, it. Yeah, I'm so. all about the hip stuff. Yeah, and the hips and like the feet work, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's beautiful. I can we can we tell the people how bad I was at, at go kart racing? You were great. I, that was your first time driving, right? my first time driving i the first race we did three the first race i was scared out of my i was scared yeah you were shitting it i was shitting my pants pants. bro i was like sitting down i was like oh these go really fast and and the homies mitch was like you the thing is that they 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 don't usually let people go that full send it cool like because they it's all computerized and they can you know hop onto that little computer thing they have and like give people speed but mitchell knows Everyone, everybody. Though. No, when he came in, so they was when like, he no. when he pulls hey. up, when Mitchell pulls up with it, you know, with people, Jordan. they're like, "All right, these guys are good. Like, give them full <laughs> speed." I know they was looking at my ass like this, homie. Who is he? Must have just got into the crew. I'm like, "Yes, I'm good. <laughs> I'm new to this. This is a new guy. Literally, the bro, I was scared. No, even even the homies we were but hey, with. No, it was, it was fun, you can't though. expect to be good first up. No. You know what I mean? You gotta. I was fuck up. talking about. Yeah, oh, the last Yo, race man. I felt really good. I was like, okay, cool, cool. I might go tonight, bro, just to like. You wanna go? I, honestly, because I want to go once a week, and it's so close to the crib. I'm, let's go off of this. Like, it's because it's. It's just and it's a rush. And it's, it's I'm like, already on this side of town. You're like, on this side of town too. And like, you've been, I, yeah, I know. I love that crash loops over here too. Because uh, shout out K One. Yeah, oh <laughs> yo, they've been sending me emails too. I guess I'm like, give us a discount. Me. Oh my Fuck god, sake. You spend was, so much money there. Yeah, it was fun <laughs> though, bro. That shit, it, and even like the, seeing the little kids racing. You know, it was just beautiful. It was just a beautiful time. Man. That when we rocked up. Those kids were on crack. I they swear. were on cocaine. They were on cocaine. They were Some, literally they, like someone gave cocaine to those kids because like, we walked in and they were like, ah! it was just a lot of point going. I'm like, damn, point, to be like, chill the fuck out. But when you were young and like just being a kid, you just point and yell at someone, just like you're so close to my face and you're being so rude. Just this so Friday night or Saturday. Friday night. We went on the craziest night. Yeah, it was a Friday, Friday night. night. Yeah. It was crazy. I, I, we were lucky we even got in like yeah. onto a race within the first like what twenty got, minutes. Twenty minutes. Because they were they were like it's an hour wait, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, now you guys are up. Next. Xavier, Jordan, 
Mid- yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I want to wait. I was- <laughs> that shit was fun, though. Dwayne's like, hey, man, I just got to go to the toilet real no, quick. No, I, I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, shut my pants. I was, no, I got home that night. I was talking to the lady. I was like, I'm not good at racing fast. You and will then, be good I at will racing be, But fast. the thing is, we leave and we're driving, you know, how we drive. And I was like, well, I'm good at this. I should be able to, but it's different. Getting, it's a, different getting a really good time isn't about going really fast. It's about picking the best lines. And knowing when to slow down and when to accelerate. I was watching you, bro. I saw and you pass never up people so letting calm. your wheels fucking slide. Never. You, you, the tires always got to be gripping. You to don't want to hear him screech. I was. Nah. I was like, Dwayne, nah. you don't. You want to be sliding. The more you slide, the less ti- the, the 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 more time you're the gonna be spending time? on that lap. It, bro, I saw you pass up people with calmness and so much zen like vibe i was like what is he Bro, doing i had my airpods in and i was just listening to heavy metal and like Crazy. i was just like i was listening to ocean grove and uh i love listening to music while i race understand yeah it's did you have best. both in or just one i had both but like You're you know crazy. the airpod pros have like active hearing so True. i can still hear everything mm-hmm. And I keep it at a level. It's just so, like, in case there's any emergencies, Some emergencies I can still yeah. hear what, somebody what they're over. telling me. Yeah, 100%. But, like, yeah, just to have the music in my ears and, and just driving, it's, it's fine. What What was your fastest? You got, like, 25, 24 seconds. Wow. Yeah, I, I hit the 24. Hit the, 24. the Like, the pinnacle of that track is, like, if you can hit the 23s, right. like, you're a legend. You're a legend. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, in racing, it's, like, like you know... Like microseconds, yeah. Uh-huh. Like one sec. If you if you beat someone by one second, mm. that's a like a mile. Like Huge. you you beat someone by yeah, a mile. Yeah, you know right. I mean? It's like, usually like point point like yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. If you like if you beat someone by like point three of a second yeah. or point two, like close race. That's like you know like all right. That's that's good. It was just fun, man. It was just like to do something like new too. I just hadn't done it. And now I realize why I hadn't done it because Mitty would ask me, and I'd be like, "Well, uh, I'm doing." Mitchell's but I'm scared. Mitchell's at the moment. He's the he's the leader. He's he the, the he's the goat of he's it. So, but and Jordan's tapped insane, in. And jo- uh, Jordan, Jordan's, Jordan's so tapped good. in. I'm like, but in saying that, they have a lot more yeah. races on everyone. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they, yeah, they used to go there a lot. She was saying like they would go like twice a week sometimes. Yeah, I I literally only go to, like I'm in and out of LA, so like right. While I'm here, like you know, tap in, tap in. Yeah, there's a there's a course like in Cairns, um, but it's like it's there's not much technique or like the the carts don't go fast enough to Understand. be able to like you know use the technique that you should. But yeah, this one this K one place, so good. like you actually have <laughs> to like know when to slow down, brake, yes. accelerate. You always like, giving me mad tips, which I was so thankful for. It was like it helped me. Last two races, I was like, okay, a little better, a little better. Then I got the gloves, and I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a vibe, though. It was a vibe, man. I was very... You're going to get like, really good at it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, you just I'm, need to go more. Just go more. Yeah, and it's, once again... It's just the more time you put into something, the be- the better you're going to get, regardless. Every it's time. like, it's by default. By default. I was talking to my homie this morning. Um, cause she, you know, she just wants to be so great, as we all do. And she, you know, just trying to get better and taking courses for guitars and vocals and... She's like crying, like I'm not, I'm not doing it right. I'm like, I see you work so hard every day. That's mm. all you can do is try and put the time in. Eventually, you'll be fine. So yeah, just like, even I with, think also music, a lot of people, like, especially if you're an artist or yeah. a creative, like you, you're just, just so care. critical and so, so critical, bro. um, yeah, so hard on ourselves. Yes. Like I think, just like if you can find that medium of just like enjoying the process of 100%. getting better in yes. something, like you. It's about enjoying the process, you know, and understanding that you're not gonna be fucking amazing off the bat. No, like you know, some people are. Some people, some people are. are just like, "Whoa, you're a natural." You yeah. know what I mean? Like, wow. But you know, the that's a that's a unicorn. That's the one in a fucking million. And we love those, but we also love the opposite end of that. I I was even I've been taking vocal lessons. Nice. I had a session this week, and I I sang this part, and I was like, "Oh, like because." She, she was teaching me just like, oh, when you go so there. So she was in your session? She wasn't there, but just oh. I remember just oh, what she told life, me. Yeah. And she was just like, you don't know how to get where you're going. When you get there, it sounds great. Mm. And then I had to hit this part, and I knew what I was doing the whole way and set it up, finished it so right. And I was like, oh, there it is. You know what I'm saying? I just got to now do that a million more times. But to hit it once right 
mm. and knowing what I was doing, I was like, oh, like there it is. You know, just mm. that repetition of ten thousand hours or whatever the hell it is. It just felt it felt so good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I'm I'm happy with songs that I've made in the past and what I'm especially what I'm making now, but it's like to know what you're doing, you know, fully know, you know, not be yeah. guessing, you know, when it comes to lyric writing or fucking just singing strong or singing soft, you know, singing with breath or whatever, yeah. you, know, you know, singing with tune, no tune. Like, I just think it's awesome once that, once it just, yeah. you know, once it really I think the you. other thing to, like, keep in mind as well is that, that there's, there's no actual destination yeah. of, like, you, you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to reach a certain point where I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm great at something, yeah. but it's like it's, isn't the the destination is a fugazi, you know? Hundred percent, I mean? you ain't lying. Like it's a, you just gotta enjoy it. Yeah. Like just enjoy the yeah. process, like because it's it's the journey. It's so real. And it's never there's no there's no actual destination. No actual destination. Yeah, we're all going <laughs> to the, we're all headed the same way. Yeah. To to be honest, I I I love you so much, bro. I yeah. I really I genuinely do, man. I'm so happy that we met through the homies, and now we have our own relationship. I wanted to. Do you have anything else you want to say or that you want to put out there? No, I just want to say that I love you very much, man. And um, I love you, bro. Shout out to Chase. Shout out to Chase. Shout out uh let's make more yeah. songs i also we gotta we gotta I, we gotta make a rock joint yeah i want to make like an alt rock <laughs> song with you please yeah that'd be cool okay like a like a session that's like, like a session doesn't because we always every session that we've had has been more hip-hop oh yeah inspired. like no mitchell know, doesn't rap. let me rock out when he says rap i said yeah I no like I i'll go in. i'll come into a session like one I'm of your one sessions of no this week bro yeah i was literally in every day this week like still getting the album right but now i feel yeah. like i got a little bit more leverage and i feel really good about the songs nice i feel like your your tone and your ideas would just be great for for what i'm doing yeah man I like know. yeah i just i'd love to just come in and just um you know be a guest perfect in that yeah situation. let's do that let's do that okay well i love you thank you for being here y'all go time. give my man's mad love and and thank you guys for listening to another episode of Dwayne's world i'll talk to you very soon 